I have no idea what the agency has in mind. Uh, whatever comes to it, we will certainly explore all the legal options available. And uh, we have done nothing wrong. And we will continue to fight. We are very transparent. They have asked us to appear. We, we are going to appear. And we are going to answer to all the questions to the best of our capacity. Do you think that you will get the kind of support? You have spoken out in support of Manish Sisodia, but do you think that other political parties, even those who are participating with you at Jantar Mantar for the Women's Reservation Bill, are also going to support you in this case? Let us see, because we have just seen nine political parties coming together, writing and condemning the excesses uh, done by the current Bharati Janata Party government on the opposition parties. More specifically, ma'am, there seems to be, while you are saying that these are excesses committed by the central agencies, all parties seem to be speaking in different voices. For example, today the Congress in Delhi lashed out not just at the Aam Admi Party, but also against you, saying that there is a definite corruption that has happened in the liquor policy probe. What would you say to the Congress? Ma'am, uh, this is an investigation that is ongoing. If any party believes that I am corrupt, let them believe so. But I will, to my uh, uh, extent, to my capacity, will answer the agencies. And I know in my heart and my people know that I have done nothing wrong. So we will face them. The issue here is that, ma'am, let the agencies do whatever they want to do. We need to talk about progressive bills like Women Reservation Bill. And I was told that Times Now is interested in speaking about the women that is why I am online today. If you are not interested, ma'am, we can continue the conversation after I attend the ED. No, absolutely, ma'am. It's a very, very important cause that you are championing as far as the Women's Reservation Bill is concerned. But because at present, the immediate uh, uh, you know, focus on you is because of the questioning that you are saying you are going to cooperate with on Saturday. More specifically, I wanted to ask... That is day after, ma'am. Women's Reservation Bill is tomorrow. Yes. Do you think that all of these parties together are also going to be demanding accountability from the central agencies in addition to the Women's Reservation Bill? No, tomorrow the focus will be only on Women's Reservation Bill and I believe Bharati Janata Party has a huge mandate and a historic opportunity to pass the Women's Reservation Bill. And I just want to remind you, ma'am, 1996 the bill was uh, introduced, the discussion first started in this country. From then till date, every Prime Minister tried to table the bill except Mr. Modi. So we want to remind uh, Mr. Modi about his manifesto promise. And when he first time entered into the parliament, he touched the steps of the parliament. And in his first speech, he said, one of the first bills that I will ever introduce will be Women's Reservation Bill. But it has been nine years. It has not happened. Every Women's Day, we reminded them in the Parliament. Every other stage, we reminded them of the Parliament. But the bill has not even taken up, and not even the drafting of the bill has begun. So my earnest request through Times now to Honorable Prime Minister Ji and Honorable Rashtrapati Ji is to introduce the bill at least in this session or next session, because these are the last two sessions of this government. 